Hi, I'm Christy Henderson from Acteon North America. I want to talk to you today about Acteon 617 camera. Now, this camera is an entry level camera. It is very simple to use. Um, there are just oh, about three or four things that you need to remember when using it. Uh, first of all, I would like to go over how you capture an image. I want to bring your attention to this little sensor right here. It's not even a button, it's a sensor. And if you look really close, you can see a little ledge. What you wanna do is keep the pad of your finger on that ledge. And when you get ready to take a picture, what you're gonna do is slide your finger across and back. Now, you may have heard that click. Um, that's because I'm using Acteon's imaging software on my computer in your computer, it will not make that noise. But that is how you capture. Now this is very sensitive. And what you wanna do at all times, like I said, is keep your finger on that ledge, slide over like much like you would swipe your iPhone, and then bring the pad of your finger back to this ledge. Now, let me point out that in the beginning, this can be very frustrating because it captures pictures so easily. And if you don't keep your finger on that ledge, you'll take a lot of pictures that you don't want. Um, that is probably the biggest learning curve of the whole camera. And what you wanna do and what we say is that do it, use it on about 40 patients a week. By the end of the week, you will have mastered it. That right there will become, in, it will get your subconscious and it'll no longer be an issue. It will actually be your friend because you will capture images so easily and quickly. Now, the first thing that you wanna do before you use your camera is always use the SoPro sleeve. Um, and I want you to look closely. There are different layers to this. So it's not the first layer, but it's actually the second. You always want to place your camera face down. And that's really important so that you don't capture, I mean, you wanna do it face down so that you always get a clear image, okay? All right. And then I always just give the sheath a little bit of a tug to just straighten it out. All right, um, here's what's great about this camera. You just place it in the, in the oral cavity, in the mouth, and then you take the image that you want. Um, you can always look at your screen, and I will tell you if you get too close to the image with this camera, it might be a little blurry, so it just tells you that you have to back off. So we're gonna take a picture of me just smiling. Okay, and that image will pop up in a moment. Um, I will tell you that if you I want to do any images of arches um, or of quadrants. What I always do is fulcrum on the opposite arch. You can always look at the screen and decide which way you need to move it to get a clear image. All right, um, you can capture a clear image. Patient opens as wide as they can. You can capture a clear image by fulcruming on the opposite arch. Okay, and like I said, if you, if you get too close to a tooth, you might notice that the image is a little fuzzy. You just back off. All right, now, that's all there is to using um, the 617 camera. It's just a, to care for your camera, this is really important. You always wanna make sure, of course, that you take the sheets off and you throw those in the trash. And then what you wanna do is take your cavity wipe Make sure that you don't use cavi one, but any other type of cavi wipe is safe to use. And what you wanna do is just squeeze out the excess fluid um, into the sink. When those um, cavi wipes are new, you know that they can really hold um, tons of liquid. So just squeeze out the excess. And then what you wanna do is from the sensor down, you just want to use this motion when you're cleaning your camera. And if you wanna clean down the core, just use this rotating um, action. 
Do not pull on the cord because you could actually pull these wires out, okay? You never, ever want to wipe over the lens. That's why you're gonna use the protective sheet. Never wipe over the lens of the camera. If you do, it definitely will end up ruining it and it's not fixable when that happens. Okay, so if you decide that you wanna transfer your camera from one op to another, what you wanna do is actually um, pull it apart. We call it the two finger touch right here at the connection. Make sure that you don't pull on the cord, that you just pull close to where it connects. Now, if you look, you can see that indention there in the camera, that little grooved out indention. And then if you look right here on this USB cord, this mini dock, you see that little ledge. What you wanna do is fit this together like you would a puzzle. When you go to take it apart, you pull it apart. Make sure that you don't twist it till you fall into that area. You actually want to look at it and put it together. And of course, you never wanna force it, all right? Um, that really is the most, two, two important things that you need to remember in caring for the camera is how you connect it and how you disconnect it. And then when you clean your camera and your cord, just make sure that you do not wipe over the lens. All right, and that you always just use a real gentle motion going down the board. And that's it. As long as you remember those three things in caring for your Sepro camera, it will last you for many years.